Hi everyone, this is Brian McElroy, the developer of Laser Girl, and this is a short tutorial video for the new map maker. So first I'll open it up by going to Extra and Map Maker, and here it is. So the first thing I'm going to point out is this help button. If you click that, you get all this help, and if you want to get good at the map maker, I highly recommend you read all this. So if I click it again, it goes away. So this gray area is where we make the map, and to pan around you hold down the middle mouse button and drag, and to zoom in and out you use the mouse wheel. Now I'm just going to make a random map and explain what I'm doing, and hopefully it will make sense. So first thing I'm going to do is uh, select this volume tool, and then I'm just going to click anywhere, and it will create a volume. And if I click uh, on the volume, nothing's going to happen. But if I click another empty spot, it's going to create more volumes. And if I want to stop creating volumes, I right click and it deselects the tool. So when you don't have any tools selected and you click on something, it will select that item. So if I select this volume, I can then move it around with this handle in the center. I can also change its size with these four handles in the corners. So the next thing I'm going to show you is bases. So I'll uh, click the base tool, I'll click to make a base, I'll click to make another base. Now this base is not facing the right way, so I'm going to right click to stop making bases, then I'm going to select the base with left click, and then down here, when you have one item selected, you'll see its properties and you can change them. So I could change what team it's for. I can also change what way it's facing. So we'll make this face left, right? Actually, I'll change the team to make it more different. Okay. Now, the next thing are spawns. So these are the locations that players can start in on the map. So I select uh, the spawn tool and then I left click to create a spawn and I uh, left click to create another spawn and you see that it automatically creates them for different teams so it creates one for team one and one for team two now if I wanted to create more spawns for team one you know let's say I wanted six spawns or eight spawns for team one the easiest way to do that is to copy this existing spawn so I'm going to right click to deselect the tool I'm going to select the spawn and then I'm going to hit Control C. Or I could just hit this button. And now when I click, it just creates more copies of that spawn. Um, if I do it again for this spawn, uh, I select it, hit Control C. And I can also just drag the mouse around and it will create loads of them. Okay, so next thing is fuel nodes so these are very simple you just uh, click the tool you click to create a fuel node or just hold the mouse button down and create loads of them uh, you can select it change whether it's a super node or a mega node so that's very straightforward um, the next one are pipes so pipes will connect to these two corners of the base and uh, so something needs to be connected to these corners for energy to get into the base. So you could just, you know, put your base here and people can connect to it directly with blocks. But if your base is here, then you're going to need pipes so people can connect to it. So I'll make some pipes for this base. So I'll click the pipe tool. I'll just click and drag. Let's see, some pipes from there and some pipes to here. Now, you notice that the pipe seems to stop short. That's because in the map maker, the pipes only connect to themselves. If I want to make it so that the pipe can connect to other things when people are playing the game, I have to add another connection to it. So if I select the pipe, I can see all its connections. So you can see this pipe is only connecting left. So if I make it also connect right, then when someone puts something here, they'll be able to connect to it. So I'll do the same for this pipe. And uh, I'll make some pipes for team two as well. So I'll select the pipe tool, I'll put a pipe down. Now, 
this is red and it also has no connections uh, so that's why it just says pipe so I'll uh, change its team to team 2 and then I'll select it I'll copy it and then I'll just uh, place loads more of them so some there and some here and yeah one there why not so I'll just add the extra connections to them now so this needs to connect up this one needs to connect left and this one connects down and let's say let's add a connection here this one connects down too okay so the next thing are our blocks so any kind of block is made with this tool so I'll just make uh, some blocks here right so you've got the regular barrier um, which is just like a wall that doesn't do anything um, then you've got the super barriers which are the really strong ones you've got walls you've got reactors and you've got lasers and uh, you can change the teams of these two so I can make this team two yeah and um, uh, just for fun let's just uh, place these on some uh, energy nodes so that they'll actually be working when the game starts I'll just copy this and we'll uh, yeah, I'll throw that there. So that's blocks. Um, the final thing are these exclusion zones. So these are the areas that the other team can't go in. So I just uh, create an exclusion zone and this is a red exclusion zone so only red players can enter this zone. Um, <clears throat> this is you know to stop people cheesing the other team by placing blocks here so the other team can't actually buy anything so if we put a, a zone like this that would uh that would work it would stop people from cheesing their base um <clears throat> another thing you can do with exclusion zones is that they can grow or shrink over time so the default ones in the default arena actually starts off like quite big and shrinks over time so if i set this if i set the grow amount to minus two what would happen is that over the course of 60 seconds this would uh, get smaller by two increments so it gets smaller once and then gets smaller twice and uh, if it gets small enough it just disappears but uh, I'll just leave this at zero for now so it'll just stay the same size all throughout the game and I'll copy it and paste it and change its team to two for the other team and yeah there we go <clears throat> there we have our map so I'm going to use save it I'll enter a name just call it tutorial map okay and let's uh, try it out so I'm just gonna host a regular game so online host and if I go to custom, we should see our new map. Uh, yeah, there we go, tutorial map. So here it is in all its magnificence. So I'm just going to go over to another uh, copy of Laser Girl I'm running. And let's join this and see if it works. So there's the game. Okay, so we'll say I'm ready. Say I'm ready. And yeah, there we go. Here is our beautiful map working and you can see uh, that blue laser uh, you know was there to begin with and, and is working so <clears throat> yeah thanks for watching and uh, I'm really really excited to see what kind of maps you guys are gonna make